Hello, how are you? I'm doing well, and yourself? I'm good. Yeah, this is Ella calling you for your appointment. Okay. Have you ever received a um a reading before, it's like medium reading? No. Okay, so this is your first time. All right. Mm -hmm. So, so let me explain a little bit. I'm not sure if you've seen any of my videos or um any of my work or whatnot. Um, but let me explain to you a little bit how I conduct sessions, so you can under you know you can understand how um this will flow. Um, as you know, I am a psychic medium, and um, what I'm going to do throughout our session is I'm going to channel information from your spirit guides, um, and you do understand what your spirit guides are, do you, or should I explain that? Um, I think I do, but explain it to me. Okay, well, how I describe spirit guides is, you know how when you were in high school or you're in school, you go to like a guidance counselor and they guide you throughout school or they guide you throughout life? Well, yes. your spirit guides are spirits that is guiding you throughout this experience that we call life. Um, and when you, you know, you may be going through certain things or whatnot, I truly believe it is your spirit guides that guide you, that helps you, that opens the doors for you, that just that are with you day and day and night type of thing. So it is with your spirit guides that I will be, um, you know, receiving information from. Understand one thing that your uh, your spirit guides, because they're all, they are on the spirit realm. There's no such thing as timing. So I will be speaking to you about things that happen in the past, present, and future tense, okay? Because they're going to begin to, this is, you know, this is Jackie, this is who she is, this is what she gone through, this is what she needs to do, you know, et cetera, et cetera. And I also always recommend um, my clients to ask specific questions. So that you can receive specific answers. Whatever it is that you, you know, you want to ask. And if I can answer them for you, please do so. Okay? Okay. All right. Give me a second. Ooh, you have a lot of ancestral, um, you have a lot of ancestral guidance and ancestral protection with you. Um, the first thing that's coming up, and we're going to get into that. The first thing that's coming up is family. Um, past family situations, childhood situations, and also grounding yourself. It seems like sometimes you go through different ups and downs with emotions and stuff. And what they're saying, like, listen, sometimes just have a seat, you know. Sometimes just go within and, and, and think for yourself and just, you know, you know when you want to have just that moment, you know, I just need a moment for myself. That is the best thing for you to do when you are going through different, I guess, traumatic or different situations where you just can't um, find balance in. And another thing, what? how was your childhood? Um, you know, I, I, I would have considered it uh, fairly normal. Mm -hmm. um, I was... I was raised partly by my my mother's um, parents, which they had a I thought was just a regular tradition on their part where they raised a the granddaughter. Mm, um, that's what it is. Mm -hmm. um, did not know my father. Did not even learn his name until I was twenty something. Mm, wow, wow, wow. That's that's deep. And did not didn't yeah. Did not learn it from my mother. My mother does not know that I know his name. Really? To this day? Yeah. Yeah, we don't, these are, these are not conversations that, that my family had. Then that's what the, that's what the childhood, that's what the family um, trauma thing is coming in at. That's the first thing that came up with you was the family. So moving forward, what I would recommend for you to do 
so that you don't have this internal tension with you because what it is is it's affecting your root chakra your root chakra normally deals with security independence um family trauma family situations so there's a lot of um stagnation going on with your root chakra so in order for you to be released from this pain or from this feeling of absence or emptiness you have to begin to do release affirmation i release the pain i forgive myself for going through these emotions i this i that because as your spirit guides is telling me it's still within you and as a result of this you know you going through these experiences you you have problems or you have trouble what they're saying is with trust um not trusting people and sometimes the people that you um that you don't trust are the ones that you should be trusting and vice versa however the problem or the issue with trust is because of the family trauma or the family experience from childhood that you never received not knowing as you just revealed not knowing your uh father's name like you know up until your 20s that's just like that's not normal you know um that's not normal and it, and it does weigh it does weigh down on a female because i always say that our fathers should be our first boyfriends in a sense our fathers or even our stepfathers or our grandpa or our uncles somebody in our family as a man should be present in a female's life or a you know a young a young girl's life only to help her understand how she should be treated by a man that claims that they want to be with them so because you didn't have that experience subconsciously and spiritually there's always going to be a block with trust and the reason for that is as your spirit guy said it's the family um the family um issue that you you know you've gone through and it's okay my love you know we all go through our own traumatic things during life but this is something that is coming up with you moving forward what they're saying is and tell her at times to balance herself and don't be too naive about certain situations that come because let me tell you something to the extent that you allow people to do things to you say for example somebody keep asking you to borrow something and you keep giving it to you that's shame on you you know that's shame on you people keep coming to you asking for you and giving and you giving it giving it giving it and not saying hold up you know hold on a second now when you look in the cookie jar you have no more cookies because you done gave all your cookies away but that's shame on you and then as a result what happens you all you you're gonna have this feeling of emptiness and sorriness have you been married before or in a long term yeah. say that again yeah okay Give me a second. Have you been in a long-term relationship with someone? I'm, I'm, I'm. Um, I guess I dated somebody many years ago, and I, I, I would say that we dated for about six years. But when you think about, because we broke up a lot, so it's, it's probably maybe three years or so. Mm, yeah, there you go, there you go. And as I told you, your spirit guys, they don't, they don't have time. So three years, that that doesn't mean anything. Um, because you, you, you understand because because you had this bond or this relationship, or rather, what I would say, this commitment with this particular person. Your spirit guide is going to bring this up because this is someone that you exchange some type of feelings or emotions for. And what they're saying is, it's time, and I'm not saying that you're holding on to him. However, in order for you to receive what it is that you want, there's certain things that you have to release out of your life, such as the feelings that you have from your childhood 
and I'm just feeling like it's something more. Um, I, you, I, I just feel like for them, it's like you left bitter, a little bitter, a little sad, or it didn't, it didn't really turn out the way you wanted it to turn out. And if you never, if you never, um, went through like a ritualistic release, meaning I released this man into good or, you know, sending this man, you know, positive light. Sometimes it, you, you, sometimes you still feel it, you know, especially if you cared for this person, especially if you wanted a commitment with this person and this person wasn't ready to commit. What is this guy's sign? Oh, my gosh. Oh, I Remember, I don't even remember his birthday. Wow. Oh my gosh. <laughs> but, oh no. And you know, as as you're talking to me about mm -hmm. this, I'm wondering if it's that particular person because there's a there's a guy that I met. I've never we've never met in person. We met online doing blogging and something else. But we have been talking about meeting, and there's an energy between us that it can't be denied, but we have not connected physically. And I had, I had a feeling at the beginning of the year that either we needed to meet or we needed to just disconnect because I felt like maybe there was some kind of block because he's in a spot that he's occupied space that maybe he's not meant for. If we're not going to pursue it, I don't know. I wonder. That's confusing. <laughs> well, here's the here's the deal. I, I I would definitely give you some 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 real deal advice with that. Um, first and foremost, you have to go with what you're feeling, what your, you know, your, your soul or your spirit tells you. You have to go with that gut feeling in terms of, you know, you know what it is. Basically, you know how you feel about the whole situation. If you feel weird about it, then if your spirit is telling you no, then it's no. But if your spirit is telling you yes, do not be afraid. And that's why I said from the beginning, trust issues that you may not even know of it may even be that yeah he's a good guy but but because you always tend to second guess certain things is like you put in your own block on this relationship that can be a very happy go lucky relationship you know but however moving forward i believe that people come into your life for many different reasons but the two main reasons is one that you can learn something from this man or two that you can that you can bless this man and that you can complete an emotional assi assignment once you have completed this emotional assignment or you have learned from him or blessed him it is now time for you to go your separate ways and i also feel that the people that you get into relationships with or you meet including myself are people that you have already known before in your past life so you just you just, you know, experiencing another assignment, emotional assignment once again. So me personally, I would say do not block what is in front of you. It only if you, only if your spirit is telling you yes. If you know deep down inside, your spirit is telling you, you know what, just go for it, then I would just go for it. But because, I'm going to tell you, but because you have you know, deep-rooted issues, and it's okay because we all do, deep-rooted issues that you haven't faced, it's going to be some type of confusion. Let me, another thing, as above, so below. If the mind is cloggy, it's because there's something going on down below the lower chakras that is not there, that is unbalanced. So that's why the mind can't be right. You can't think clear. You, you, you know, when you say one thing, you, you do another. You, your, your spirit and your soul is not within alignment with one another because you still have, you know, deep-rooted situations that you haven't fully faced, even as an adult. I've, I've, let me tell you, my love, I, I channel and I guide thousands of people and 
the childhood traumatized or uh, child childhood situations is real. You would not I, I never knew how much pain and how much people are affected by their childhood experiences. Not having a father not having not having a father being raped, you know, being raped as a child both men and women, you know, both men and women going to someone you feel that you can connect to and they're telling you, oh, no, you know, you're bugging out or you you can't even go to somebody because you, as a child, you feel scared that if I go to this person, you know, something else would explode. So all of that that gets bottled in, you know, as a child, it then affects the way the you know how you are shaped as an adult and it's okay so exactly and that that plays a part of aligning your chakras are you familiar with your chakras or um i i am um to a certain degree i mean i i, I understand that you know root chakra and soul chakra and i i have some um limited understanding of what each of those tie to. Now, how you bring them into alignment, I That's, I, I told you, release. Saying release <laughs> after, and this is for you, but this is only for you because this is your session, right. this is your reading. Right. It may be, you know, it may be something different for another client. Right. However, for you and your <laughs> situation, what you need to start off with is release affirmations and just dealing with the root chakra you can go on youtube type in release affirmations type in healing your root chakra root chakra meditation whatever it is however this is 2016 the year of i know we are in aquarius age there's nothing on this planet that you cannot figure out you understand and now we are actually in the best times ever because everything is so accessible to us it's at the it's at the tips of our fingers you know so with you i'm telling you with you um they're also t showing me writing they're also showing me writing <laughs> you la say that again i i am laughing because i am actually writing as, you, as you're talking i write all the time Okay. Um, I always have. Mm -hmm. um, I actually published uh, a poetry collection a few years ago, and I um, have been working on some other things. I, I have a, a blog and a website. I oh. kind of um, let that fall by the wayside, but yeah, I write. And I write partly for a living. I um, oh. work as a business analyst, project manager, so I do requirement documentation and that kind of thing. Oh, well, then that, 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 well, then that's, okay, well, then that's good. So, what I'm saying, writing is, um, begin, and what, when they, they showed me, you know, writing, they saying, listen, tell her to write down any issues that she has, you know, tell her to write down anything that she wants to release, that's, it's going to help you, you know, along your journey, along your spiritual journey, you have to keep in mind that, Everything that I'm saying is only getting you closer to your highest good, you see. So doing the root chakra meditation, releasing the pain, um, writing out since you said that you are a writer and that's good because that's a form of expression. Um, writing out, listen, writing letters to the universe, you know, I, um, you know, such and such, your full name, release whoever you need to release out of your life. I release this pain out of my life I forgive myself for you know allowing people to do x y and z all of this stuff they're saying tell her to write tell her to write it out just write it out scream it out shout it out write it out <laughs> expression expression if, if because you said you don't know how to you don't know how so when you act when you mention you don't know how to now your spirit guide is like listen this is how to do it okay in your situation and I also want you, okay, give me a second. And what I also want you to do is um, light up a red and white candles on a Friday. On a Friday when you write um, and you release, you want to set up, you want to light a red and white candle up 
um, during this. This is going to be your own little ceremony thing. And again, this, I'm only targeting your childhood experience because we, we need to we need to start step by step. OK, we need to we need to start from the beginning of the things going to the 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 higher things the lower things to the higher things so what they're saying is to help you in that situation you want to light up um a white candle and a red candle and the red candle again is for the root chakra but for the white candle you want to do for purity for uh for clarity for peace of mind because your mind just be like going 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 so you want to clear the mind clear it cleanse it purify it you see um and just you know it's just a clearing thing going on with the mind i mean going on with the white candle However, the red candle was to burn down any unwanted feelings that you may have. What is your sign? Are you fine sign? Oh, Earth. Uh, Earth. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. You are you December? Yeah. There you go. Okay. All right. Yeah. It it feel it feels like Sagittarius actually. Um. <laughs> It, your your moon or somewhere maybe in a um in the fire sign, um but Capricorn the sign you know the sign of responsibilities the independent ones, um ruled by a planet uh ruled by planet Saturn Saturn is the task master so you always taking you always up for the challenge you always want to you know be independent and that also deals again it's it's a cycle of things that's going on independence and and it's also dealing with the root chakra so it's like a it's always going back to the root chakra independence deals with the root chakra you being a capricorn always being independent you taking initiative you being number one you being responsible things of that nature um deals with you know your your your, your lower self going into your higher self mm-hmm definitely but that's that's all good and then to um green is coming up and i i guess you know uh that deals with what your spirit guys are saying in terms of trust um letting go loving again you know it's okay to love again is what they're saying tell her it's okay to love herself I love again um and that's fine too but i always say whenever it's your time you know it takes it it takes a process to fully be able to allow somebody into your cipher um especially when you have your leer you're, you're a little bit leery about certain things you know as we all are because you you never know people nowadays you know um people say that they're one thing and then you and then turn to come to find out there's somebody different so i could understand or overstand where you're coming from in terms of um being leery are you there Hello. Yes. Okay, you're there. Okay. Did I? Did, yes. you, did yes. you hear? Did you hear me? Yes. Okay, great. Um. So yeah, the the green shock, uh, the heart chakra is coming up, um, in that way. So a lot of ah uh, meditation, the vibration of ah, uh, which is a h, helps, and this is only for you. You know, this stuff has nothing to do right. with nobody else. This is only to better yourself, to help you align yourself with your highest good. That's all it is. It's only for you. Um, so the root chakra right. and the uh, the heart chakra is definitely um, something that you should look into with yourself is what they're saying. And, of course, they're speaking to me about expression um, because what's happening now with your spirit guides is, is telling me all about you. So they're speaking to me again, like you just confirmed about expression, um, which is a beautiful thing. What you're doing now, this is what you came to this planet to do, <clears throat> to help teach people, to, to bring out information, as they say. Have you wrote a book before? Yeah, I um, published a portrait collection in 2000. Oh, okay, yeah, you, you did say that. Yeah, I, I believe you did say that. But because I'm in between realms, um, the physical stuff, sometimes people say it doesn't register because I'm in the spirit and the physical. 
So yeah, right. what they're saying right. to me is that um, the book, you know, she she got books. Tell her to publish books. So I guess you know the book publishing or the book creating is very um to your benefit. It will benefit you very well. But I have a very good feeling that you will be very successful. Um, or you are already successful, as I say. You won't will be. And I always say I am already successful. I won't will be. I am successful. I am loving. I am wealthy. I am love. You know, say I am. You already are successful um, in whatever it is that you want to do. So the career rise, um, give me a second. Um, do you do also charity work? Charity giving back? Um, not, not as much as I, I used to oh, um, yeah. mentor um, sixth graders, but I have not done any in a while. Now, I was actually looking for some um, things that I could get into. Mm, mm. Okay, well, <clears throat> I do see you doing charity work, um, helping children, as you said. Um, but it's not more so of uh, of mentoring, but uh, it's something with food. Um, you know, giving back food, probably pantry, or you know, just giving back to those to the less needy. Probably it may be a situation with, that may come up in the near future. Um, you know, probably during the summertime that you will get into something where you giving back to children or you giving back. You know, collaborating with people. It's all on what you want in your life. It's all on what you create. Um, in your own right. reality, if you understand. Um, do you have any questions? Oh my gosh. Um, <laughs> I I guess I switched I switched jobs. I've been in my current job for about seven months. Mm -hmm. Um, left my other job after eight years. Mm. And before that, I had I worked for a company for 20 years and got laid off. So I'm not, I'm wondering if I am in the right place. It's a good company, but it's really kind of nebulous in terms of how they do things. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, you know, I'm, I'm all about structure. Right. Mm-hmm. Well, yep, yeah, you are. Yep. Yeah. Responsibility, organization, being independent. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Uh, yeah, but see, that's the thing. I do feel that where you're at now, um, is where you're supposed to be. Um, and you are the one to make the best out of your own situation. Um, you know when they say turn a good, a bad situation good because you have the you mm -hmm. you have the choice to do that. You know you don't have to look at it as you know I'm in a bad situation, which I know you're not. You just want to know, hey, and is this where I'm supposed to be? And I feel like this is part of your experience, so it is. Um, it is. I'm not seeing anything bad because you know what? You're doing what you love to do. It's not like you're doing something that goes against your spirit. Had it been something that goes against your spirit, that, that would have came up already. Um, but you're learning, you know, this is, this is a new, you're adapting, as I would say, um, you're adapting to it, you're grounding yourself, um, in this whole new, you know, situation, and again, your birthday just passed, um, four months ago, or whatnot, so, you know, um, new beginnings is coming, you know, new beginnings, and things of that nature is coming, so just be patient, and, and, and continue living life, and that's why, the main thing that's coming up with you is just mainly not the the so called physical things more so, but it's it's the it's the spiritual stuff that's coming up with you right now. Um, you know, which is good because because you're you you you're, you're starting. You know, you're learning. Right. You know, you're growing. So it's okay. Yeah, it's definitely okay. Everyone comes into this at different timings. Everyone comes into spirituality, into chakras, into meditation. Everyone comes into this at different timings. So it's okay. Mm-hmm. Yep. So, now, I'm, I mean, you mentioned health, and I am kind of wondering about my health. I am diabetic. Mm -hmm. I have um, fibromyalgia. What is, what's uh, the okay. second one? 
fibromyalgia. Oh, okay, okay. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. And, and having some problems getting my diabetes under control. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I, I am just, seeing. I'm, yeah. I I am seeing this as you speak. Um, go ahead. Just trying to figure out how um, to am I tackling this the right way? Obviously, I'm not. If I'm still having problems regulating my blood sugar, but okay, I, I don't know. I'm trying to figure out what to do with my health. Okay. Um. What I would recommend, um, what I would recommend, because I'm also a, um, I was certified by Dr. Africa. Are you familiar with him? Mm-hmm. I was certified by him as a holistic nutritional consultant. However, I do my self, my own self study, and um, mm-hmm. I've helped lots of people reverse diabetes. However, I do understand it depends on the stage, but. Right. What I always tell clients um, dealing with diabetes or cancer or whatnot, all it is is a change of diet and a change of lifestyle. Um, and again, it's, step by, it, it's a process. Things just don't happen overnight. But you have to be consistent. You have to take natural herbs. I, I always recommend, I don't have the herbs particularly because I'm sold out. However, I do know that Dr. Sabi um, or my aunt, um, Dr. Sabi's ex-wife, have partic- have specific herbs to reverse diabetes, hands down. This man has reversed anything from HIV, lupus, fibroids, you know, cancer, whatever it is. He he has the herbs to reverse this symptom, these these this this disease is what I say. And I'm gonna tell you one thing. All it is is uh is a is a buildup of mucus in the body. Once you remove the mucus from the body. You remove the symptoms and you remove this condition because the body doesn't want to die. The body wants to live. You want to live. You don't want to die. So if you begin to regain what the body is made of, especially iron, zinc is what they're saying. Uh, take you know, take a lot of foods that has iron, uh, zinc, um, and potassium is what they're saying. So these three things I feel like your body is lacking. Your body may be lacking zinc. Iron and potassium. Potassium is very good because what it does is it helps the cell in its in, in its cell activity. So you need that. You need your cells to be operating on the optimum level possible. So you need to eat foods. Rather you you know, you go on a fruit diet and I understand, oh, you know, fruits has sugar. Yes, but fruits has natural sugar. And it is the natural sugar that the body can break down very easily. Not the synthetic sugar, not the white sugar, the sugar that the body needs as, you know, what they call as ATP energy, you know, to keep the cells going. And then iron, and then iron is for the blood. You need to cleanse the blood. You need to remove the sugar in the blood. And then zinc is to boost up the immune system to help you fight off this condition. So the three main thing, three main elements that's coming up, or rather minerals that's coming up, and we also have to understand and understand that the body is made up of minerals. The body is not made up of vitamins or anything like that. The body is made up of minerals, and I can prove it. You have iron, you have potassium, you have calcium, you have hydrogen, you have oxygen, you have zinc, you have all these different types of, you know, elements that make up the world or the earth or whatever, you know, planet also is in within us. So once you begin to eat foods that is high in these particular minerals, then you will help the body to re- reverse your symptom. Easy. But it's a process, my love. It's a process. And I do think, and I, I don't, I, it's not that I do think. I do know. Let's let's be let's 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 speak more, you know, firmly. I do know that you can reverse your symptom. And then with the you know, and then with the fibroid situation, it's just calcified. You have a calcified tissues. So you need to break down the calcification 
um, within the, the reproductive system so that you don't have, you know, heavy blood flow. Do you experience heavy blood flow? No, it's, it's not fibroids. It's fibromyalgia, which is... Um, it's, With the muscles. It, I forget. Yeah. With muscle. the muscles. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Kind okay. Like, right. Yeah, but it's... It, it, yeah, it can be... It's kind of like a, a cross between arthritis, lupus, chronic fatigue, that kind of stuff. It's, it's mainly your joints. And like 13, 18, 13 places on your body that can you know, that are really impacted, but most of them happen to be in the joint. So that's why they spoke to me about the zinc. So that's why your spirit guys are mm. speaking to me about the zinc, the overall body, the immune system. Right. That's, that's correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. So then, but, 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 but let me tell you one thing. Don't go, go getting those pills, those vitamins, eat your food, juice, natural right. juices, you know, rather you want to juice collard greens or you want to juice kale, juice these, juice dark green chard, Swiss chard, juice these juices so that you can get the full minerals and melanin and chlorophyll from these green plants and treat yourself. Believe me. You ever seen um the the uh, documentary, uh, what is it, Knife Over Fork or Fork Over Knife or something? It's on Netflix. Um, not yeah, I haven't seen it, but um, I do know what you're speaking of, yes. Watch it. Watch it. Okay. Watch it. I'm telling you, you'll be amazed. You'll be amazed. And these is white folks. Mm -hmm. You know, these is white folks, just off of juice, green juice. He bought himself a Nutribullet, you know, got himself just juicing green juice, green juice, green juice, green juice, green juice. I even have on my site proper food combination charts. For people, um, you know, when to eat certain types of food, the three, the three main categories of, of, of food and when to best benefit from them. You have electromagnetic food, you have metro, uh, metromagnetic food, and you also have the builder foods, foods that's going to build the body. So I have different, you know, um, information that you can also benefit from while you approach this this different diet it, and it's all good and again you just you know this is your new year you just um had a birthday so now it's time to change transition and it's all good it's all good yep you're gonna be just fine you're gonna be just fine your grandmother's on the other side oh lord yeah 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 yeah, yeah my um my my mother's well of course I don't know my father's parents, so my um oh, yeah, grandmother and my grandfather. Right, right. Well that's why she came through because she was yeah, but she loves you anyway, that's why she came through and she's just listening in on 'cause she's she's a person that likes information. Um, she's a person that, you know, if you tell her things, she's gonna take heed to it. So as I was breaking down this information on health, she starts coming in. Um, and then you told me before she was your mother. So it will only make sense that she comes to see you while I'm, you know, while I'm channeling. Mm -hmm. And she's telling me to tell you to take care of yourself, as she did. Yep. Was she religious? <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not not overly so, but she was. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She feel like it. She mm -hmm. feels like she feels like it. She feels like it. It seems like in her younger days she might have went to church sometimes. Um, yeah. 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 And it feels yeah, she, like it. She yeah. She went to church. She um when she was able to move around with ease, she took off. Uh, definitely took me and um and then when she got to the point where she wasn't really going anymore I would go and then I'd come back and we you know she'd ask me you know were there many people at church today what did the pastor talk about mm -hmm. so, yeah. oh okay yeah so then she yeah 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 she, she's good her soul is at peace um and she said that she's happy when you're happy that's what she said 
<laughs> she's happy when you're happy, yes. So when you're happy, she's happy. So stay happy so she can be happy. <laughs> I know. I know. I know. Mm-hmm. That's one because I've always wondered if, and and they, my grandfather passed when before I started Head Start, and then mm-hmm. my grandmother passed when I was in the seventh grade. Mm-hmm. And, you know, right around that time, you know, you're starting to feel yourself. And so, like, I don't want to listen to her and this and that and the other. And yeah. I've always wondered if they were proud of me, if they were happy with the things that I've done. And, mm-hmm. yeah, so this is why. Oh, so then, yeah, see, you, you didn't even have to ask the question. It already came through. They're happy. She's happy when you're happy. You didn't even have to ask the question. Then that's good. Now you at peace. Yeah, yeah that's what's up. Yeah. Yes, congratulations yeah. on that. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. But you know, I mean, the stuff that happened in your childhood, don't even don't even don't even don't even bother with that. It's what counts now. It's who you are now. That's you, yeah. you yeah. Yeah. You was a kid. Yep, my love. So do you have your last question or um, oh, wait, I really probably should have thought about this before we got on the call. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't, hmm, I don't think so. Uh, well, you know, we did cover a lot, so you gotta yeah. soak, you gotta soak this all in, you know. Um, yeah. you know, you gotta, yeah. you gotta observe it. Oh, you know it. what, I do, I mm-hmm. Yeah, I do have a question. Mm-hmm. I'm actually going on a business trip. I will be <clears throat> going to um, New Jersey. We have to do <clears throat> a presentation to our client. Mm-hmm. And um, it's been a really rough process to get the information together. You know, me being in a new job, my the lady who was my manager didn't understand what it was that she was supposed to do because she couldn't tell me what to do. So mm-hmm. at the last minute, we're crunching and crunching. Oh, we've got to be there for two weeks. And I am I'm telling myself that it's going to be good. Everything is going to go off fine. I have to um, do a demo of a system that I do not know. Oh. And uh, I... Yeah, I feel like a lot is hanging in the balance because this will impact all the other people who have to come up behind me in further sessions. Right. Oh, and that's where that initiation come in at, the independence (laughs) being in the, oh, okay, I understand that. Oh, I mean, in this situation, my love, I mean, you got to just make the best of it. You know, it's it's nothing really to say about that. I mean, you just really have to make the best of it because you have control. You, you know, it's like, it's like, it's like an exam, you know, two weeks from now, you know, you're already good with presenting. So that's not the issue. It's you understanding the information and what you're delivering because you can't stand in front of people, uh, uh, blah, Right. You, right. <laughs> you, we, what? You know, you can't do that. So it, it, it really, it's really up to you. Um, you have to put on your Capricorn hat and take the initiation of just, you know, cramming work or just, you know, getting it together as you always do. Right. You know. Okay. All right. All right. So, my love, I thank you so much. Um, I will, when I post the video, um, I'll send it to you. I'll send you a copy. Are you on Facebook? or well, How did you find out about yeah. me? Uh, I think Facebook. Yeah, Facebook. Oh, really? And I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not sure. Unless we were connected through... A group, or maybe somebody I was connected to posted some information. I'm not sure, but you know, I contacted you before about doing a reading, mm-hmm. and then um, I think 
think you had a scheduling conflict, and then you sent me another date and time, and then I had all of this other stuff going on. So I just oh. never, um, yeah, yeah. Oh, so now it's remember. all by divine I, appointment. Yeah, so now you finally got yeah. your reading. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you finally got oh, your yeah. reading now. I'm good. I'm happy for you. Okay. So um, when I post it up, are you, what, should I email this to you? Or you gonna you going to uh, shout me out on Facebook? What, what's, <laughs> I don't know. I will, I, okay, so now <laughs> you can email it to me, but I will probably still check. Because, um, especially depending on time, you know, time-wise, because with all of this going on, I'm not um, online as much or as often. Mm. Okay. So, yeah, I'll just do a little bit of, I'll, I'll stalk you out a little bit, and then I'll just check my emails and see what's what. All right, not a problem. All right, my love. So I thank you so much. Are you there? Yes. Okay. I thank you so yes. much. Thank you. Yep. And um, you know, I always tell my clients, you know, my first time clients, feel free to recommend me, you know, to anyone else that, yes. you know, may okay. benefit from my work or from my gifts, for my services. Absolutely. All right. Have a great evening. All right. Bye bye. Thank you. You did the same. Okay, bye. -bye. Good.